What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, playing some more Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're hopping back onto that ranked double ladder, but this time using a little bit of an off meta squad. We got ourselves a Mudstale and Alice Elf team, alongside with two support Pokemon, Grimmsnarl and Mousehold, and then a crazy strong combo of Sylveon and Moltres. Recently, we've been using a lot of meta teams for you guys to push Regulation D ladder, but I want to switch it up today, bringing you guys some off meta squad. You guys are in a deal. If you do enjoy the content in time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button. And if you guys want to support me a bit extra, more than that, consider becoming a member. There should be a join button down below. If it's not there, there's a link down in the description below. But one thing I want to go over before we actually go over today's team is a huge shout out to the team creator, Chip. Thank you so much for one, being a longtime viewer, and two, making this team and making a rental code for me to showcase. Cannot wait to use this team and hopefully grab ourselves some wins with it. But Mudsail is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. Mudsail has a special place in my heart. I actually used a Mudsail team in Sword and Shield to push my highest rank ever. I was top 500, actually maybe like top 300. I was really, really high in the ladder with Mudsail. And I just absolutely love this Pokemon. It's got stamina alongside with the Assault Vest, EQ, Terra Blast, Rock Slide, and high horsepower. This Pokemon compared with Mousehold really, really well because Mousehold could use beat up, triggering stamina, making Mudsail's defense goes through the roof. Moltres is going to be our second Pokemon. This Pokemon is super strong in Regulation D. It's got Berserk to boost special attack. And this one's holding the weakness policy to pair up with Sylveon. Its moveset consists of Fiery Wrath, Air Slash, Protect, and Tailwind. Third Pokemon is going to be Mousehold. Mousehold's here for mainly just support with the Friend Guard and the Focus Ash. It has Super Fang, Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Beat Up. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Grimmsnarl, and usually I'm used to the screen Grimmsnarl, but this one looking pretty good as well. It's got fake tears on it to drop special attack, or not special attack, to drop special defense. So paired up with Pokemon like Moltres, Azelf, they can do some crazy time damage with Grimmsnarl on their side. Grimmsnarl's got the Mental Herb with Sucker Punch, Fake Out, and Scary Face for its other three moves. In the fifth slot, we got Sylveon, everyone's favorite evolution. Well, shouldn't say everybody's, but the majority of people's favorite evolution. It's got Pixelate, Third Spray, Quick Attack for first turn priority, and for Proc and Moltres' weakness policy. Then we got Hyper Voice, Protect, and Yawn. Final Pokemon on today's team is Azelf. Like I said, I want to uh, showcase the Lake Spirits. We already did Mesprint. We got Azelf for today's video. Just gotta get myself hands on an Uxie team. But Azelf has the Choice Scarf and Levitate as its ability with Trick, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, and Psychic. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this off-meta Mudsdale and Azelf team. We're hopping into our first match for today's video, and let's look to grab ourselves a win. We're going up against a Shen Pao and Arcanine team with Dragapult, Fluttermane, Iron Hands, and last but not least, Amoongus. How should I play this one? Who should I go into? I kind of want to go into Mudsdale, but at the same time, Intimidate could come after me. And that would be a little bit of a problem. Maybe I'll go into Sylveon and Moltres. That also sounds pretty good for me. And I kind of like that. So you know what? Am I going to do that? I don't know. Because they might go into Grimmsnarl. Or not Grimmsnarl. They might go into Iron Hands and fake me out. So do I go in maybe with my Grimmsnarl and somebody else? Because I could go Grimmsnarl and Sylveon. That wouldn't be bad. Because then I can fake out. I can start throwing Hyper Voices across the board. I do like that. I actually really like that. I can pop Throat Spray. And then I can start fake tearing from there. I like that. We'll bring Azelf in the back end alongside with Moltres. Or maybe do I lead Moltres? Actually, let's lead. Let's go Moltres. Let's go Moltres as lead. I know Sylveon and Moltres do pair up well, but I can set up a Tailwind with Moltres, so that could be really, really good, especially for first turn. So I'm going to lead Moltres instead of the Sylveon. I do believe they might lead either Iron Hands or the Shen Pao Arcanine combo. And I think I kind of like this because if they go Iron Hands, I can just fake it out before he fakes me out. But if they go Shen Pao and Arcanine, I can then just terrestrialize, fake out one of them, start getting off some big time damage, kind of going from there. So I'm with it. I'm with this lead. I like the lead. I'm all about the lead. So they're going to lead what they got cooking. Amoongus and. Okay, never mind. My calculations were incorrect, but I don't really mind this. I kind of like the lead we have here. We have a Poison Terror type on Moltres. Um, I can fake out Amoongus turn one. I can pop uh, Air Slash if I want to. I think I'm just going to pop a Tailwind instead, right? Because what's your speed at, Moltres? 156. That's beautiful. That's lovely. So yeah, I think I just fake you out. And then I just Terrasalize and pop a Tailwind to get some speed. Get some speed cooking. I'm with it. I like it a lot. So we'll see what they want to do. 
Amoogus might just protect, you never know, but if I can waste out that turn, that could be big for us. We'll see what they want to do, but Poison Terror type's going to work wonders for us, because their chances are they're going into that, that, that fairy move that they got, right? They're going to fairy up into me, and that's fine. I mean, Grimmsnarl, I'm going to take some damage, but I'm hoping it can survive at least one turn. Might even Terrasalize Fairy Shot. That would be a problem, but Fake Out's going to fly through here. Give a little clap skis on the Moongus. And Dazzling is going to fly here. So Grimstar all able soak. Perfect. Love it, love it, love it. No Curver Cloak on a Moongus? Probably not, right? Chances are it's not. But we get off to Tailwind, which is big time for us. So Tailwind is here and the Moongus flinches. So Moongus gets to flinch. Um, hmm. With the Tailwind, we have Sylveon, we have Azelf. Um, I think we just try to get rid of a Moongus, right? I think at this point we just go I mean I wouldn't mind getting rid of Fluttermane but they might just protect Fluttermane and at this point we can just go into Air Slash and Fake Tears so nope they're not protecting Fluttermane but still we'll get rid of Amoogus here so I'll Fake Tears drop its defense minus 2 I'll Air Slash out and we'll just get rid of Amoogus and the reason I want to get rid of Amoogus over Fluttermane right here is because we're going to outspeed the next couple turns so I'm not too worried about it and Amoogus will probably put my Moltres to sleep. So I'd rather have my Moltres here ready to go. So from here, I think we just go into Sylveon here and we pop our third spray, right? And we save Azelf for the back end because Azelf's going to be able to outspeed with the Chewy Scarf later in the match. So while the Tanwin turns are here, let's get our Sylveon out of here, pop that third spray. Try to get ripping because I really, now, now I want to get rid of the Fluttermane, right? Now I want Fluttermane going. We go into Sylveon. Lovely little Sylveon and Shen Pao's gonna be here. A little bit of Shen Pao action. They still have Terra, but nothing crazy, right? Nothing crazy, because I can just hyper voice in here. I got first turn priority with quick attack. Um and do I fiery wrath? Or do I go into an air slash? I think I'm just gonna fiery wrath. But Shen Pao sash, so we could double down with double hitting moves. We could potentially get rid of Shen Pao, but I do believe it is gonna terrestrialize you, right? Or even protect, one or the other. One or the other. Let's see, but yo, Sylveon looks dope. Sylveon looks so dope. And using both these Pokemon right here, Moltres and Sylveon, just reminds me of the Sword and Shield days. I love Sword and Shield. I love the competitive Sword and Shield. I really did like it. But he's going to end up Terrasalize and Fluttermane. Going into a straight Fire type. Okay. I feel you. I understand. I get it. Fire type with that. That's fine. Shen Pao hopefully doesn't protect. That'd be really cool. And he shouldn't go for Sucker Punch, which almost KOs us. It didn't KO us, but it, but it almost KO'd us. <laughs> so now Fiery Rat's going to fly here. It's going to do some damage on the both of them. Sylveon should go next. Oh, we get a flinch on Fluttermane. That's actually big time. We get a flinch on Fluttermane. And we're able to pick up a KO on Shen Pao. Wow. All right, we'll take that. We'll take that all day. We'll take that all day. We get the Throat Spray popping. You get the throat spray popping. And it's kind of weird to know that that Fluttermane outspeeds my, my, what's it called? The Fluttermane outspeeds my uh, Sylveon. So from here, uh, what's my play? Do I yawn Arcanine? I could definitely yawn Arcanine. I could protect Moltres. Um, Or I just go for the Hyper Voice KO. I gotta get off some damage here. I gotta go Hyper Voice with that. And I guess I'll just protect Moltres here. Because the E-Speed's probably coming out here, right? Chances are he's going for an E-Speed. So I'm just gonna protect Moltres. Get off some nice damage with my Sylveon. We have the Choice Scarf Pokemon in the back end. And he ends up protecting Flutter. Can he please go after my Moltres? I would actually really like that. Yeah, okay, cool. So I'll take that all day. We get off a free Hyper Voice turn. I don't mind that. Tailwind's gonna end though. Hurts a little bit, but they were pretty much outspeed this regardless. So Hyper Voice flies, doing some nice damage over onto Arcanine, and out goes our Tailwind. So from here, I'm just gonna pop another Hyper Voice, do as much damage as I possibly can. And if I can land a Fiery Wrath, I might as well try to land one, right? So he goes for the Gleam, he's gonna finish off the Moltres, and what are you going for, Arcanine? You going for a Flare Blitz? Oh, that could be ugly. If we don't eat up a Flare Blitz. That could be ugly. Maybe we can go first. Dude, you go first. Can you eat that up? You eat it up, Sylveon. Let's go. That's a big time eat up. 
That's a monster item. Because Hyper Voice is going to fly here. It's going to bring Fluttermane to such low HP. And as of, are you faster than Fluttermane? I don't know if you are. I do not know if you are. But I'm going to double down to Fluttermane regardless. I mean, he's deaf. Are you going to E speed me? The thing is, I'm going for a quick attack here. I would love to pick up a KO off of that, but I don't know if I can KO it. And obviously, I want a choice in a Psychic. And who do I go after here? Probably Fluttermane, but I don't want Fluttermane protecting. So I'm still going to go after Fluttermane. I don't think it protects. What a first match. Coming down to wire. So if I get rid of Fluttermane, I outspeed Arcanine all day. I'm just not sure if Fluttermane's booster energy went to speed or special attack. I should have been paying attention. Should have definitely been paying attention. It's, again, you can protect Fluttermane and just KO one of my Pokemon, and then we'd be in some trouble. I should have went after Arcanine. He's protected because our opponent's thinking right here. He's like, I'm going to protect Fluttermane all day. Oh, that just lost his match. That just lost his match. Hurts the soul there. Hurts the soul. Oh, man. Unless Azelf out speeds. It might. It might. It might. It just might. But actually, wait. Let me see Sylveon's speed. Because it, he was out speeding Sylveon. Sylveon's only 160 in Tailwind. So that makes sense. That makes sense. All right, Azelf out speed. I need you out speeding here. How can I go for an east speed? Can you out speed Azelf? I need you out speeding. You do. But you're still going to lose. Another E speed's gonna KO us. Yeah, that hurts. Let's rough him. That's definitely a rough one. I was kinda hoping he went for Flare Blitz. Any way around this? Is it possible is it possible that we could dodge E speed? No. That protect, man. That protect. But the thing is, if I didn't hit the art, if I didn't hit the flutter main. Say the say I went after Arcanine, but Flutter Main didn't protect, we would Oh no, we probably would have maybe won because we just need to eat up with Azelf. The first time priority is screwing us over here. But Azelf eats that one. Never mind. Never mind. We'll take it. How did Azelf eat that one? But the first one did so much damage. That is wild. We'll take that all day though. 1 0, Azelf clutches up. I don't know how. I don't know why. But the Pokey Guides. Clutched up for us. They really did. I don't know how we survived that E-Speed. I thought for sure we were dead, but Azelf wanted to prove itself in Regulation D, and that's exactly what it did. What a solid match. Win or lose by me and my opponent. I feel like that was a good match all around, and I was happy to record it, but hey, we'll take that dub all day. We're starting off 1-0. Now we're going up against a Trick Room team with Cresselia, Urshifu. Urshifu is more of like a back-end Pokemon, but they also have Reggie, Draco, Sneasler, Ursaluna, and... What is that Pokemon called? Indeedy. Um, I could go Sylveon here. Or not Sylveon. I could beat Azelf. Because I could kind of just pass off that Choice Scarf if I really want to. I could just pass it off, right? I could also go into uh, maybe Pokemon like a Mud Sail or something. Just start boosting defense. Maybe go beat up and just kind of go from there. Or I can go into like, maybe like a Fake Out with Grimmsnarl. Something like that. But I feel as Indeedy Cresselia is potentially the lead here, right? And if Indeedy Cresselia is a lead... I could just go Moltres. I could go Moltres, but I really like, I really am going to like Mudsdale here, especially with that Assault Vest, with the, with all that stuff. I like it. I like it. So, you know, I'm going to go Mousehold here. I'm going to go Mousehold. I'm going to go Mudsdale. We're going to look to get off some, some things, right? Do I want to do that? Actually, no. I kind of want to go into both of these guys. I can EQ freely from there, too. So, I'm going to go into that. I am going to also go into Sylveon as back end, and then last but not least, I kind of just like the Azelf. Oh, no. I didn't click my team. <laughs> I didn't click my team. They're going to screw me over. Can you at least give me my lead? Just give me my lead. I think it gives me my first four Pokemon. I think those were my lead, so. If it gives me my first four, I get Mousehold and Grimmsnarl, I think. Oh, no. Urshu and Sneasler come out here, though. And we do get our lead. And please don't tell me, show me both the support Pokemon in the back end. It's the first four. This is tough news, real tough news, because that's Water Urshifu. Um, okay. He has Fake Out. Um, definitely want to Terrastalize you into Ghost, and we'll go for uh, EQ here. So we'll Terra EQ. Um, 
And then we'll just air slash this thing. Man, this is rough. If we win this match, that'd be awesome, but... Always tough when uh, you don't pay attention to the clock. So we're going to Terrasalize here. I wonder what he's going to do. Hopefully he fakes out my, my Mudsdale, right? That's what I think would happen, right? A fake out on the Mudsdale, and then... Uh, and then, no, he fakes out the Moltres. I was thinking fake out on Mudsdale and then a uh, certain strikes into the Mudsdale. But now he goes after Moltres. Can I eat up three of these? I should be able to eat up the next one. That one just did 40. I love you, Moltres. That's a beautiful sight. Because now we're sitting in a beautiful position. Because now I got Berserk. Urshifu's going to die here. EQ's going to do some... Oh, no, I forgot. We don't hit. But EQ's going to do some big-time damage. Maybe take out Sneasler. Which is huge. Yep, see you later, Sneasler. So that's a big time damage for Sneasler. Um, hmm. So I play now. I'm gonna send out NDD. Do I save the Moltres maybe for later? I definitely want to EQ. I definitely want to stick with my EQ. And then from here, maybe I'll just protect. Yeah, I'm gonna protect Moltres. Oh, he can hit through protects. I always forget about that sometimes. Every here and there, like every other day, I'll forget about Urshifu hitting through protects. I never forget about it when I have him. I'm sitting there like, hey, I can hit through your protect. But when I'm going up against it, it catches me off guard every here and there. So he ends up sticking with the certain strikes. He just KOs me. Yeah. I was dead anyway. It's either I swap out, which maybe I should have done. I just kept the 12 HP Moltres for later. That's fine by me. We go for an EQ. We're chucking up some more damage. Lovely, and Trick Room is going to come out here for Indeedee, and I actually love that. Thank you for giving my giving my squad that. We like that a lot. Um, Terrain kind of screws over. It actually does screw over Grimstrong, so I have to wait for Terrain to go out here. That is terrible. Really doing me dirty. I mean, Helping Hand EQ is probably your best friend right here. I think that's what I'm going to go into, because we got to wait for the Terrain to end. Grimstrong has Fake Out, which is first turn priority, Sucker Punch, first turn priority, and then it's two other uh, support moves, which are considered first turn priority because it's Prankster. So it's really, really ugly. It's really, really bad for us. But from here, I'm going to EQ, and I think I'm just, I just helping hand. Yeah, I would love to KO Indeedee at the same time as Urshifu here, so I'm going to go for the helping hand, plus I think he's going for like, a close combat enemy. I don't care if Mousehold dies. Actually, we have Focus Ash, which is lovely, and we go before him. Cool. So we get rid of Urshifu, we don't get rid of Ndidi, and we do some big time damage to our Mousehold. So we'll see what Ndidi's going for here. Psychic, into Mousehold. So it's all up to Grimstrong here. Or Mudsdale, I should say. <laughs> it's all up to Mudsdale, and they have a Trick and Pokemon, I think it's Ursa Luna, right? Who can't hit me with Facade, which is lovely. It is lovely, so Ursa Luna does come out here. Can I first turn priority my own Pokemon? I believe I can. Can't you can't you first turn priority your own Pokemon? You might be able to, because I would love to slow down Mudsdale for a little bit here. I would love to slow down Mudsdale here. Especially in Trick Room. I'm gonna go for it. Can't use anything else. And yes, I can. Okay, so we get a little bit of value out of Grimstrong. Thinking outside the box here. We'll drop it speed and we'll be able to drop it So we get rid of Didi. We're doing some damage over on, on the Ursaluna, and Ursaluna, you going after Grimstrong here? Are you popping EQ? Oh, no! Chill! You have to chill. You have to chill. This thing's hitting like a truck. No bueno. Not good at all. Um. Hmm. I guess I just gotta keep sending EQs, right? And how many turns left in this terrain, man? I mean, yeah, Grimstrong can't do anything. Simply cannot do anything. So I'll, I'll try to maybe glitch through the game and hit this thing with a Sucker Punch. That's what I'll try to do. <laughs> That's going to fail. EQ's going to fly here. Chunk up some nice damage on the Ursaluna. Sword Dance comes out here again. And that... Huh. If we get a crit here, that'd be lovely. He's probably just going to protect him. We set the last turn and trick him. And if you do, then I get off a Sucker Punch. Your call, buddy old pal. We go for a flinch. We go for a flinch. Did they tear yet? They did not. They did not. They still has Terra. Normal Terra, probably, right? 
EQ I'm scared of, but I'm pretty bulky. I ain't gonna lie, I'm pretty bulky. I think I'm gonna go for a high horsepower, because we're not gonna KO regardless. And if he say he protects, then I get another turn off with, uh, with a boy. And now he doesn't protect. He doubles up with the swords and his high horsepower is gonna fly. And we almost pick up the KO. Was EQ KOing? We lose this match all day now. And that one shot at me. Would EQ have KO'd? I think it would have. Did I throw that one? Let me know in the comment section down below. That's tough though. Ursula comes out here, doubles down on Sword Dance, plus four. We're dead to that thing all day. One and one, let's go hop into our third and final battle and grab you guys a winning record. Still not sure if your boy threw that last match. If I would've went in the EQ, maybe it would've KO'd, but it just seemed like it was not doing enough damage. So we end up going into high horsepower. Ursa Luna survives on a tad bit of HP and we end up losing it, but it's all good. We're one and one. Final match coming at you guys, and this is not looking good. Meta team versus non-meta team. Chances are the meta team's gonna win, but I'm gonna give it my best. I'm gonna try to grab you guys a win here and grab you guys a winning record. But they got the Earth Shifu, they got the Flutter Main, they got the Rillaboom, Regilecki, Moltres, just like us, and then on top of that, Heatran as their final Pokemon. But who should I lead? How should I go into it? As of pretty good Pokemon here, I kinda like it, and I might lead it. I'm thinking of leading it. I'm kinda scared of the fake out coming out from uh, Rillaboom. That could be a tad bit of an issue. So from here, maybe I might go into. I go Mudsdale, maybe Terrastalize. I could do that. I definitely want to bring Mudsdale in here, though. Mudsdale seems like a pretty decent Pokemon. The only problem is going to be Urshfu, right? Urshfu, Urshfu is a nice big problem. So I'm still going to lead Mudsdale. I kind of like Mudsdale for the lead. And on top of that, I am going to go... Actually, let's see if we can just pull this off. Let's go as elf and then in the back end we'll go Moltres and Mudsdale. Just nice little bulky Pokemon. I do like the ground type as well. Considering they do have Regilecki, they do have Heatran. If we can force them to use Terror, then you know Mudsdale can get some work done on the uh on the Heatran. And then also we have the Rock Move. Rock Move can really just tear up uh Moltres, and then we do have the Ghost Terror to get away from fake outs and to do some big time damage on the Flutter Main. So I like Mudsdale. I do like Mudsdale. But I'm going to hope they're not leading Fake Out and I go into Ass Elf Grimstone pretty nicely. And we do. That's cool. That's very, very cool. We like that a lot. We like that a lot. So I am going to Terrasalize. Or am I going to Terrasalize? Probably not, actually. Um, the thing is, I think he just... I think he just uh, protects Urshifu. Actually, do we Fake It Out regardless? Maybe just fake out and what do we do here? We choice. I kinda want choice into the psychic. Just get off some damage from the flutter main. Thing is, what I want to do here is I think Urshfu might protect. So you know what? I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into fake tears here. And I'm just gonna stick with psychic. I'm gonna get rid of flutter main saying Urshfu's gonna protect here. And it doesn't protect. It does not protect. Wow, we could just fake that the Urshfu, but I'm cool with this because I get off that. I get off the Psychic. It should get rid of the Fluttermane as long as it's not Sash, right? Come on, man. What, what's that about? What is that about? I do have Sucker Punch, but I don't like where we're sitting now. Because Moonblast is going to do some big time damage onto me. He's going to pick up the KO, and then he's going to Surge and Strikes to take me out. Come on, man. I lose two Pokemon when I should have only lost one. I would have liked that trade all day. I would have liked that trade all day. Of course, this Fluttermane is Sash. Of course, this Fluttermane is Sash. Out of all the flutter means, this one is sashed. So that hurts. That really hurts me. Couldn't even get rid of one of these guys. But I got these two in the back end. Um, I think we just terrestrialize Moltres. We can start throwing EQs for free. And I have a Soul Vest. Um, hmm. The problem. Big time problems for us. So I'm going to go into an air slash here. Well, you know what? Let's just do this. Let's go protect on you. Let's go protect on the bird. And actually terrestrialize the mud sail. And then EQ across the board. I like that a little bit better. I like that. I like the reverse here. Because let's say we terrestrialize uh, Moltres and left mud sail without terrestrializing. Then... 
Urshfu could just take us out, but I can just protect Moltres and Thrash Slash Mud Slug, because we're, we're in a bad position right now. We really need to make something happen, so I'm looking to get started with this play. I'm guessing they're going for Moonblast or Gleam into that slot. If there's Moonblast, and then they're probably starting striking across the board. So from here, I will get Defense Boost, but it's going to be tough. I'm going to get three Defense Boosts. I just want to be able to eat up at least another shot, but I don't think we can. Because, yeah, this is going to put us to half, so that hurts soul. So it really does hurt. Maybe I can set up a Tailwind. Let's see how much damage we can do here. That's just tough. That Sash wasn't there. Ooh! That Sash wasn't there. We're sitting so much better than we are. Um... Okay, from here, I'm trying to make comeback happen, but I don't think I can pull it off for you guys. Heatran comes out here, and Heatran's going to Thrasslides. We already know this. Heatran is a thousand percent Thrasslides, but we have to get rid of Urshfu. I have to get rid of Urshfu. Uh, I'm just going to rip into a Terror Blast into the slot. We know Heatran's Thrasslides. We know it's coming all day. And there's the Terra. I'm gonna go in the grass. We are gonna get rid of Urshifu. Um, hmm. Trying to figure this out. Trying to figure this out. Tough ordeal. It's a real tough ordeal. Maybe he protects Heat Train. Be pretty cool. Here's the air slash. We actually outspeed. What's that about? What what is that about? What is that about right there? A free focus ash that we were already dealing with enough stuff. Now we gotta deal with free focus ashes. That is terrible. That is so bad. That is so bad. That's real ugly. Cause my Mudsdale would still be alive if that actually KO. So out comes that. Um, I mean, we can't get off Fiery Wrath here. He's gonna definitely Aqua Jet me, and I think that's game. Cause if he goes into Aqua Jet, no, he just attacks. That's fine. He's gonna say Aqua Jet into whatever he wants to go into. He's gonna be a play. But maybe we get off a of flinch here. Flinch would be big time. Flinch would be lovely. Give me a flinch. Give me some help. Give me some luck. Nope, we get no luck on this side. That hurts. So now we're down to here. If he's got it, he's gonna aqua jet me and KO me. And chance are he's got it, because usually that moveset seems like he's got it. Close combat, certain strikes, aqua jet, and protect. So we're going to another fiery wrath. Man, yo, the focus sash and the free focus sash really did me dirty, because we definitely had a shot at winning this battle. But now aqua jet comes in here. And the meta team just does me dirty. One and two for today's video. Solid set of matches. Both of them came down to the wire. Or all three of them, I should say. It always hurts to grab yourself a losing record. My bad, Chip. Thank you so much for the team. But again, losing record. Wish I could have done better. But still, thought I had a great set of matches. Played this team pretty well, I thought. We got Azelf out there. We used some Mudsdale. We got Moltres, Grimstone. We didn't use Mousehold, but we did use Sylveon a little bit. But the first match came down to the wire. We end up winning that one. The second one came super super close one turn away and then that last match like come on man the free focus ash on the earth i think definitely should have been dead and then of course the flutter main has focus ash as well so that one hurt the soul but it's all good like i said one and two losing record but got to showcase this team pretty well but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread spots every day i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody